welcome back to my channel oh my god you guys oh my god where do i even start i've found so many amazing things at the dollar tree but first since this is my first video for 2024 i hope you all had a very happy new year yesterday when you celebrated if you celebrate i personally don't do anything for new year's i just stay home my husband had to work last night um security so it was just me and jaden here at home and at 1203 we all facetimed together include like including my girls my husband my grandson so that was nice um, and we wished each other a happy new year, but I just want to wish you all from the bottom of my heart a very, very happy, healthy, and what else? Happy, healthy, and calm new year because I feel like 2023, I don't know about you guys, but for me, it was so hectic, so many things going on, so many things happening. So I just want calm, peace, health. <laughs> wealth if possible you know like all the things but no seriously guys um i hope that everyone is doing good um i just also want to say i don't know why but i feel in my heart that i need to say this if there's ever anyone out there like any of my subscribers if you just came across my video and you ever need someone to talk to please reach out you can comment below send me your email or your if you're on Facebook your Facebook tag and I can message you or if you have an email your email address um, mine is glitz and glam by Jen at gmail.com so email me if you ever need to talk um, I'm always here I like to help I like to listen and I like to um, you know just give someone a shoulder to vent and cry on because i know sometimes we need that support and sometimes we don't have it i know i've been there i still go through those moments sometimes and i lean on the people that i know i can lean on so if you ever need a shoulder to cry on an ear to vent to i'm here just reach out sorry guys we're three minutes in i haven't even started showing you guys anything but i just felt like i needed to say that so with that being said let's start with what we are really here for another thing my tree is still up it will probably be up all of january i probably won't take it down till the end of january that's me that's how i do things i like to enjoy my christmas decorations because i feel like the month of december goes by like that and we don't even have a chance to like sit down and enjoy it so with that being said i was so ecstatic to find these i did not find these last year guys i did not my store had maybe three or four i only grabbed one because i have to start controlling myself because i end up getting two three and four of things and i don't need it and i don't have space for it and my husband's gonna kill me so i only grabbed one these are beautiful guys for a dollar 25 you could use this for sugar you could use this for um a candy dish you can use this for your um, Nespresso pods or your Keurig pods. You know, it's not gonna fit a lot of those, but you can use it for that. I just think it's so beautiful. I love it. Um, if you decorate your house in like pinks, you know, if you have like pink accents, you can leave this out all year out. It doesn't say anything about Valentine's Day on it. It's just a heart. I just find it so beautiful and so classy and pretty for $1.25. And on the bottom, it just says Valentine's glass container. My phone, there you go. Another thing, my nails look horrible. I broke another one and I haven't had a chance to get them done. So with that being said, let me show you guys what I found. Okay, I need to know, has anyone tried this? Let me know down below. The reason I'm asking is because I made pasta the other night and I almost grabbed this to try it but i grabbed my go-to because i was scared of ruining dinner and not having a backup so please let me know i grabbed two jars of this this is the marinara sauce 
and they also have the um, pizza sauce. I don't know where I put it in one of my cabinets, so I just grabbed this super quick to show you guys because this was part of this haul. I can't pronounce that, but let's just say Valley Harvest Marinara Sauce. This looks beautiful for a gift basket if you're making like a, a food gift basket or an Italian inspired gift basket. It's beautiful. The label is beautiful. However, try it before you put it in the gift basket. Like buy yourself one and try it first because I would hate to give something to someone that tastes like crap. <laughs> like that would be embarrassing. All right, guys. I have seen a bunch of yous hauling these. My store had pretty much every color, every scent, I think, that came out in these. But I controlled myself and I only bought four. Um, the one missing, my daughter grabbed it. I will show you her keys. As you can see, this is the sandalwood one. Okay, and I'll show you guys the packaging right now if you don't know what this is. I don't know how to pronounce the <laughs> the brand. I think it's Olika. It is, um, it has 300 sprays. It is an ultra hydrating hand sanitizer. It comes with a little clip, okay? And this scent is called Blue Tennessee. So I got this one for my hubby so that he can add it to his um, work bag or his keys or his vest for work. Um, he wears a bulletproof vest and he has like little pins and stuff on it so he can definitely clip it since he handles money all day his hands are always dirty and he is like a germ freak like he has especially after covid he has to use hand sanitizer so i thought that this was a great little deal you know then i grabbed this one it's called cotton flower it's in purple and i also grabbed the jasmine sage now i'm curious to see what this really smells like because i love jasmine that's one of my favorite scents michael kors has a perfume that i think is discontinued it is my favorite it's hard to find but you could still find some out there it's called jasmine glam and guys if you like jasmine that perfume is amazing Oh, I'm sorry. Let me show you guys the packaging, how it comes. This would have been a great stocking stuffer, especially if you have like adult kids like me. Like my girls are 22 and 21. So these little things are great. So let's see. I'm going to spray it. I haven't used it, so I don't know. That's what it comes out like. It smells like alcohol, which is good because you want it to obviously kill germs. It's a very, very, very faint scent of jasmine, but it smells good, guys. It smells good. I think I'm going to put this one on my key ring. Although I like purple and pink, like those are my go-to colors, which is why I grabbed this one. But let's smell this one too. Let's see. It says cotton flower. So then it comes like this super cute and I'm making a mess like always I'm glad that my dogs are gone I'm not even gonna say it out loud because I'll probably jinx myself okay let's try I'm gonna try it on this side of my hand so you do have to pump it a few times the first time you use it oh my god no guys this smells amazing Oh my God, cotton flowers. Right now, I'm hanging it on my keys and you guys are probably gonna laugh at me because you're gonna see how many keys and key rings I have. Let me show you something though. This is something special. So my oldest daughter got us all for Christmas um, a puzzle piece with our names on it and they connect into like a puzzle. So myself, my hubby, my two daughters and my son all of us have a piece to the puzzle but yeah and then this is from the dollar tree all of these are from the dollar tree i don't know why i have this but and i got this also because of my long nails but yes you guys this i'm telling you get rico it smells really good it smells clean like i almost want to spray it all over the body i swear it smells so good i'm like spraying it in my hands 
love it it really does smell good my shirt is annoying me i just put this on because i just came out of the shower and this is like a this is like the kind of shirts that i like to get at target but i got this too big i i thought i was getting an extra large and i got a 2xl and that's why the sleeves are big plus guys little secret i've lost i think 20 or 25 pounds so i'm super excited i'm still trying to see what journey exactly i'm going to go down on um when it comes to weight loss I'll do a separate video discussing that because I know that that can become a bit contro controversial. I can't say the word. <laughs> My um, Spanglish just comes in and forget about it. But yes, I know that some people are not into or are against some of the weight loss stuff that's out there right now. So I will do a separate video on that. I'm going to focus this on my haul. So this is Betty Crocker Loaded Mash. I pick these up all the time because everyone in my house likes these except for Jaden. He does not like mashed potatoes, but everyone else does. So I picked those up for about 25 at the Dollar Tree. Okay, first I'm going to start with these beautiful bags. My store never ever ever gets these. And guys, I was so excited. Look at how beautiful. Farm Fresh Valentine's. You have your little red truck with the hearts. How cute. And it's a nice size bag, guys. Not like I need more. My closet over there is full of bags, but I have to throw out the old ones. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. It's a nice size. It's not huge, but it's a nice size. Like, see, compared to my bag. Hold on. It would be smart if I put this one down. Let me show you guys. So in comparison, <laughs> you see like it's a small bag, but it's cute and it's Valentine's Day and it's girly and it's pink and it has a red truck and I needed it. So I got it. And then I got this one. Oh my God, guys. Look how beautiful. It says love. It has a bike with flowers. It has like a little epilogue with letters. And then look at this. It's so cute. So I got these two. I controlled myself and I only got two. I think it was another pattern, but I don't remember what it was. It just really didn't catch my attention too much. So I didn't get it. But these are called reusable tote bags. And it has the Valentine's Day little label. By the way, what you see right now on my face, I just threw on a little bit of makeup when I came out of the shower because I didn't want to look like a hot mess. Um, my face was all red. This is that little concealer contour wand from that Yo-Yo brand. I think it's called Yo-Yo something. I'm probably saying that wrong. That they have right now in the Dollar Tree. I hauled it. I showed you guys. The shade is Mocha and I told you guys that I love it for contour. All I did on my face, super quick, fast, and easy makeup. I have the Maybelline Stick Foundation. I did a few dabs of that. I did a little bit of concealer under my eyes, and I used that little wand and just went here and here and a little bit here, and I blended it in, and that's it. Like super quick, easy, and fun. Okay, this is from the plus section. This was $3 and it's a table runner and it's red. I'm still deciding how I wanna decorate for Valentine's Day this year. I don't know if I wanna do, cause they had another runner just like this, but it was red, pink, and white. And I almost got that. But then I started thinking, I kinda wanna do reds and then I don't know, like, I don't wanna call it boho cause it's not really boho. It's kind of like a neutral look that's really in right now and i'll probably put a few accents of pink and white but not a lot so i don't know i'm still deciding but i got this from my table this is so cute guys it's felt um it's easy to store and it's only three bucks and i think it's really cute it shows you here what it would look like on your table so you can either put this on top of a tablecloth or put it on your plain table with nothing else on it so i thought that that was for three bucks not bad 
Then I also got this for three bucks. See, I thought this, like that, this is kind of what I'm talking about when I say neutral. I thought that this would look nice maybe on top of the table. I don't know yet. I'm still trying to come up with ideas in my mind, but this was from the plus section and it's $3. And it's like three dimensional. So to me, I think it's worth the three bucks. It's super cute and I had to get it. Then you guys, I was so excited to find these. I think I got three of them in red. I stood there for like 20 minutes trying to decide if I wanted them all red like I got them or if I wanted to do the red and pink or the one with the glitter. I think the one with the glitter was the red and pink. I don't remember, but I stuck with the red. I thought that the red would be cute to put on my little, um, my little living room side tables or if I put one on each side of my little mantle there. I don't know yet. So I'm going to decide on that later when I start like seeing everything that I got, then my ideas start flowing. Okay, with that being said, I got this. And this I'll probably put on the outside of my door inside my wreath. This says, love you more, XOXO, sweetheart. And I just thought that this was so precious and beautiful. And it's just so girly and valentiney. Valentine. Now I'm making up my own words, you guys. Then I think these things have like gone viral, okay? Like, what? Guys, this is everything. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It says filled with love. Happy Valentine's Day. And this little thing is three-dimensional. This just, I don't know. It's so good. This one says, filled with love. <sighs> Out of the two, this one is my favorite. But I don't know, you could hang these on the wall. You can place this on a table, um, like against something, you know, and put like your little tree there. Like I, there's so many ideas that I have flowing through my head right now. So yes, I had to get those. Like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna hang them up or if I'm gonna put them on tables, but I probably will show you guys what I end up doing with them. And then you guys, oh my God, they had the big gnomes. I did not grab the big gnomes because I have in my little storage box, I have some gnomes from last year. And I believe that I did get the Valentine's Day ones. I really don't remember if it was Valentine's Day or if it was Easter that I went crazy with gnomes. But I decided to get the little miniature ones. How cute are these? I think he is so cute. He has a little fuzzy hat. He's holding a heart, his little white beard, and he's gray with his little red shoes. And I just thought that they were cute because they're small, so it's easy to store. And then this one was so cute too he has a little heart on his hat his beard the little hearts going down his shirt the little red shoes and the little hands and then they had this oh this one's the same oh no he is different okay um yeah he's different i thought that they were the same for a minute so this one has a little heart that he's holding and this is coming off, but you could glue this. They made this a little cheap, but you can definitely glue it with a glue gun or a little bit of crazy glue or whatever. So that doesn't bother me, but look at how cute. And like I said, they're easy to store. And then, what? Like guys, imagine something like this. You have this. Again, something, you have your little gnomes, maybe a little candle. You see what I mean? Like ideas just start flowing. So yes, these are everything. I got all four. Let me know if you guys see any more. I think that they only had these four. Like how cute are they? I love them. I love them. Okay. Then you guys. I saw somewhere that apparently these have gone viral on TikTok. I don't know. I ended up grabbing them because I thought they were cute. 
and they fit my kids. So this one has a coffee with a heart and the little eyes. He's winking. And then you have the donut. And these are called Fuzzy Friends Two Pieces. So I'm gonna give, I make my kids little baskets or little treat bags, let's call them, for every holiday. So each of my girls are getting one of these. And then for my son, they didn't have chicken nuggets. So I had to get this one. The french fries, cause he loves McDonald's french fries. And then the hamburger. <laughs> and I got the same one for my grandson because he loves it too. And then for my daughter Brianna, I got her the same one as I got Destiny because they drink coffee and they like donuts. So there's that. Then I got for the girls and for myself, these headbands. They had these in so many colors. This one is black and it has the red hearts. And it says on there, I can't see spa headband, so black. Then I got the mint with the red with the pink hearts. And I got the pink with the red hearts. So how cute are these? I'm gonna put these in their little bags. I thought these were so cute, so I got those. Then you guys, I was so tempted to get every color, but I really, like I said, I'm controlling myself. How beautiful. Oh my God, these are so good. Look at this. I believe they had this one in purple. I got it in the green color. This is just so beautiful, guys. Just for decor purposes. Like I would just use this for decor. And then look at this pink. This actually matches in my bathroom. I have, if you guys remember, I did haul it some time ago. Everyone was going crazy uh, with them. It was like the, um, it was kind of shaped like a candle, like that, that round shape. And it has like a little stopper like this on the top. And it's like pink, like a mauve pink. And they also have it in, had it in clear. So I picked up one of each and i have that in my bathroom as decor and it looks so pretty and then these just caught my attention i have to put them somewhere this one may go to my bathroom and this one may go in my tear tray that's back there i don't know yet but i will figure it out then i saw this and i could not help myself the plushies are so adorable this year or this season i don't know this month <laughs> Cause they always come out with new ones and this just reminded me of my grandson for some reason and i had to get it for him because i thought that he would love it he actually sleeps with a little tiger that my husband got him from one of those like game machines he won it for him and gave it to him and ever since he sleeps with it so i thought this would be a cute little addition and it won't take up too much space because he's small because my daughter kind of wants to kill us after Christmas because my grandson is extremely spoiled. <laughs> so yeah, she, let's just say that they struggled to go home from my mom's house between her gifts, her boyfriend's gifts, and JJ's gifts. <laughs> she was like losing her mind. And I was there when my kids were little because with the toys, you guys know, everything is bulky boxes. It takes up a lot of space. And then you have to build everything and they lose the pieces and you guys know. Anyway, girl, if you are from the 80s like me, I was born 1984 and I'm proud of it. <laughs> you remember Love Spell from Victoria's Secret, right? Exact dupe exact dupe the fragrance is exact it's crazy it's crazy every time i smell this it reminds me of grammar school and high school like i just i can't so my store had them all and because i already have i think i have two sprays and just one of the um body washes i picked up another one and it tells you right here that it's a dupe for the Victoria's Secret Love Spell. But I've never smelled something that smells, that's a dupe that smells like something so on, on point 
like this. It's insane, guys. It really is. Then, you guys, yes, I got the brush that everyone is hauling. I got it in the pale pink, and I only got one. They had it in gold, and they had this one, but I liked the pale pink more. I don't know. I just thought it looks classy and chic. I just think it's so pretty, but you do have to be careful because these little um, brush hairs do come out, you know, but the brush is good. Like, I can see myself using this, like, to contour with, blending my contour or setting powder to kind of set all over your face. It's a great brush. It really is. So, for a buck twenty-five, pick these up. They're cute. I don't know why I didn't get one for each of my girls to put in their bags. I might go back and get more. Hopefully they still have. So let's see. And then you guys, I do have to go back here to grab something to show you guys. But I got them the little teddy bear jar that everyone is going crazy looking for and wanting. So they had it in pink too. I think it's pink, right? The other shade, pink or clear, I forget. I forgot what it was. But I only picked up one, you guys. And it's funny because I picked one up and then this lady came and scooped up everything that was there. There was like six of them and she took them all. Three red and three of the pink or clear, whatever the other color is. But oh my God, you guys. And here's one of my ideas, ready? putting this together and then like oh I just dropped the gnome and then like this well hold on Jen use your head like how cute on a table and then you put a little gnome somewhere in there like I said I'm getting ideas it's just so cute and so precious and I just had to get it. I really, really did. Um, is that it in this bag? Yeah. So, that's it in this bag. However, I am going to grab something from my little mantle. Not mantle. My little wall unit thingy there. Because I want to show you guys um, something real quick. Some greenery that I found that I could not believe. It was from the Dollar Tree. Let me grab it. show you this one first so yes the flowers are from the dollar tree but look at this greenery i just thought that that was so cute and i ended up just adding it like this for christmas and then obviously i'm going to remove these flowers and um leave the greenery and add something else to it but oh my god my store never ever has like good greenery and flowers and now ever since they became the plus they added the plus section they have been bringing like amazing greenery look at that guys but this is my absolute favorite look at this is this eucalyptus i forgot what the heck this is but it is so beautiful guys and look how i i ended up setting it up i just thought that this was so beautiful like how pretty is that I don't know i just found it to be so pretty and it looks expensive for it being from the dollar tree well friends that's all i hope you guys enjoyed this haul i hope you guys are doing great if you have not yet subscribed to my channel chismosa what are you doing hit that subscribe button girl you know you want to subscribe and become part of the family we have fun over here i haul things sometimes i've done a couple of like story time types of lives i need to do more i will guys i promise and i still owe you guys a makeup tutorial i know i have to do one soon but i love you all i hope you guys are all like i said doing well please don't forget to hit the like button and hit the bell so that you get notified each and every time i go live um go live <laughs> each and every time i post a new video um if you guys want me to do lives let me know down below because i can do those also um i've done like maybe one or two before so yeah so just let me know guys 
thank you for all your support. Thank you for your comments on my last video. I was so excited to see all these people commenting. You know why? Because it helps push my video out into the YouTube world and algorithm. So if you follow any YouTuber um, and you wanna help them out, hit the like button, leave them comments, share their stuff and um, comment down below on their videos because that helps push them into the YouTube algorithm world. So anyway, guys, take care. Be safe. I will see you guys again very soon. I love you all. Se me cuidan. Bye, amigas.